Maybe you're getting ready to go to a job that you're just you just can't wait until you quit. You're just like, ah, I just uh, you dream about it. Yep, yeah. it's ninety nine seven DJX. But this is a kind of a setting the bar story. If you can manage to make it through the day without stealing your office chair after getting fired, you're doing okay. Oh dang, yeah, they're probably not going to just let you do that. Now listen, she um she said that she was stuck in this job. It was toxic. And she finally left her job. Actually, I I don't know if she got fired or if she left voluntarily. I said fired. Maybe maybe I need to give her the benefit of the doubt and that she just left, right? Because she was saying that it was a toxic job. And I, on her way out, well, I'll let her explain. When I left my last job, I took my chair. <laughs> I took, my, I took chair. my chair. In my <laughs> mind, I figured that. I had been sitting there taking years of emotional, physical, and verbal abuse. Yeah, so she's like, hey, I've been... I'm entitled to the chair? Yep. And for some reason, I was like, well, I've been sitting here taking it, so I'm going to take my chair. And needless to say, they emailed me like a week later saying, bring back the chair, and I did. And it was really embarrassing. But, (laughs) um, you know, you live and you learn. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) you live and you learn. She's like, like like they weren't going to notice. Right. (laughs) Wow. I know, I know. And so, so I guess the setting the bar story in all of this is, hey, no matter how much you think your job is toxic, don't steal things on the way out yes because then you're going to have to go back i know and and how embarrassing is that going to be yeah right exactly when you're wheeling your chair back in yeah (laughs) that's not oh no one wants that experience like once you walk away yeah you you don't want to have to come back yeah you just just want to be be done done. you just want to be done but but the the employer's like hey um, gonna need you to bring that back. <laughs> yeah, we need your chair. I took my chair. <laughs> I took my chair. <laughs> she was so irreverent at first, and then she's like, ah, I took it back. I know. I, know. <laughs> I remember when I was working at the deli uh, back in college, My what, one of um, uh, the employees there, when he got fired, he was a, I think it was a shift supervisor. And he took an entire case of bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, people can get in trouble for stuff like that. Well, yeah. I mean, it is it is at its, its stealing. core stealing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Exactly. But yeah, I mean, so I mean, now to be fair, we did have great bread. It was fantastic okay, bread. But, yes. But you can't just take it. I know. <laughs> so he he was like, you know what? I'm probably not going to be eating these sandwiches for a long time, so I might as well just snag some bread. So Couple yeah, for the road, he literally took a case of bre- of of bread, and oh, wow. because I remember being there as he was, um, as he was like, "Yep, this is my last day," and uh, yeah, I guess he didn't get fired. I guess he quit because it was it because otherwise that he would have just been like escorted out, right? But he sure. was just he was just like I'm. I'm going to take me a little souvenir. And I was ah, like, they won't miss this. I know. And they got what, plenty more. And what am I going to do? Tell on them? I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I mean, what? did he get caught? No. Okay. <laughs> wow. No. Yeah. Lesson so. learned is sometimes you get away with it. Is that no? No, this is the setting the bar story of. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Right. Don't do that. Don't all right. Do so, that. hey, what have you taken on your way out the door? You know, you, you were like, all right. I'm leaving this job, but I do kind of want a souvenir. Wow. Do you want to admit it? 502-795-1997. Take your stories on the way next.